So I'll be showing you how to lock a folder on your Mac so that only pe people or persons with authorized access with a password can be able to access that folder and the contents of that folder. Now, macOS does not make this very intuitive. So it's kind of a workaround which you have to uh, follow closely. It's a very simple process, but you have to follow closely every step so that you don't miss a step, okay? Now, this is the folder I want us to work with. This is the one I want us to lock. Uh, maybe it has some private photos uh, like this one. So you can see the contents of the folder. That's what I want us to work with, okay? So the first thing you want to do is go to Disk Utility. Now go to Spotlight and type Disk Utility and then use that to open the Disk Utility. Now with Disk Utility open, go to File and then hover your mouse over New Image and select Blank Image. So we're basically creating a blank image which is going to act like a virtual drive now i'm going to call mine vault because i want it to be like a vault and then you can choose where you want to keep your vault now you can keep this anywhere just for demonstration i'm just going to leave this on the desktop but of course you want to hide it somewhere i just put it somewhere where it's not easily accessible so that people don't get curious as to what that is and try to fish around now this is also going to open a, a Let's say it's going to open the vault folder. Okay. Now you can uh, change the size of this. This is only 100 MB. And the size you choose right now is the size you're going to have for that particular hidden folder. You cannot increase it later. So you might as well just want to uh, put in an appropriate size right now. So for instance, I'm going to put one gig. Or maybe even let's put three or five. 5 GB of space. And then we have the format, we have encryption, and then we have the uh, partitions, and then the image format. Now, so for format, so you can leave the uh, format as APFS, you can leave the encryption for now, uh, the partition, leave it as it is, single partition, GUID partition map, leave that as is, and then you can change the image format to sparse disk image. Now, when you change that, you'll notice this goes back to 100 MB. So you might want to come back here and specify again, it's actually one GB, actually five GB like that. So I want my uh, folder to be five gigs. So that's it. So we're almost there. The next thing we want, us, we want to do is now choose the encryption. Now, if you click on that, you can see we're going to have 128-bit AES encryption or 256-bit AES encryption, which is actually the recommended encryption. So if you click on that, it's going to ask you to verify, to, to, to define a password. So let's put a password for our folder. I'm just going to put in a simple one for this tutorial. So that's my password. Of course, you should put in a password that's not easily guessable. This is a password you're going to be using to access your locked folder. Now enter the password and then re-enter it to verify and then click on choose. Now once you do that and everything is ready to go, you can just now go ahead and click on save. And it's going to create some kind of a disk called the vault folder. Now we have the vault, uh, which is a sparse image. So click on done to save that. And then now you can exit out of disk utility. Now you'll notice two new files have been created on the desktop. So we have the vault uh, sparse image, and then you have the vault folder, which is sort of like a virtual, uh, sort of like a virtual um, disk. So this disk, you can always come here and eject it, and it's gonna stay hidden. And anytime you want to launch it, you can just double click on it, enter the password you defined, click OK, and it appears just like that. So this is the vault folder where we want to store our hidden files and folders. So I'm just going to drag my uh, folder here. And if I have a file, just a single file like this one, and I want to hide it as well, I can just bring it here, copy it, and it's going to be in that particular hidden folder. Simple as that. OK, now that's going to copy. So if you want to, you can go ahead and delete the original. Same goes for the pictures folder. 
you can go ahead and delete the original and only remain with the version that's uh, in the vault folder or in the hidden or in the locked folder, so to speak. So now I can close this and then always remember to eject because if you don't eject, anyone can just come here and open this. So always remember to eject. So that means it's always locked and hidden. So I'm just gonna eject that. So let me go ahead and delete this and this. So now that that's gone, you can choose a special place to keep this uh, sparse image file. So this is the one you're going to be double clicking on every time you want to bring up the hidden folder. So or rather the hidden and locked folder because this video is about locking folders. So anytime you want to see your hidden files or your locked files, double click on that, enter the password, click OK and it appears and now you can access it. So it's not a very intuitive way of doing it, but it's currently the only way to do it in macOS. Now, hopefully uh, macOS are going to improve just like iOS and introduce uh, locked folders and locked files just like they did with the apps and it's going to be a bit more easier. But currently as it stands, that's how this works. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down in the comment section. If you find this useful, don't forget to leave a thumbs up, possibly even subscribe for more tips and I will talk to you in the next one. Good luck.